everybody, Matt Re back here with you. Once again, welcome back to Mob on TV. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please be sure to do so. That way you'll get the latest, greatest breaking news of all the new videos that we're going to be releasing this spring and this summer. So this series that I'm starting is a 10-week series on guitar instruction. And for those of you who know me, know that I've been teaching private guitar instruction for the last 25 years. So I just started doing online lessons. So anybody out there who's interested, please feel free to email me right here. So this series again is the top 10 guitar players that have influenced me the most. And we're going to review and I'm going to demonstrate and teach you how to play two different licks from each of the artists and then a third way of how I interpreted it for myself. So let's get started. The first one up is my favorite guitar player of all time, Mr. Jimi Hendrix. So the first lick up that I'm going to teach to you is something that Jimi did in the 12th fret position of the E minor pentatonic scale. Now we're in standard tuning, so I'll play the scale for you just in case you don't know it. Okay, so now what happens in this lick is Jimmy is bending on the 15th fret B string up to a root note of E. But then he's releasing the note on a different string, which is super cool. So normally you would bend a note like this and either add vibrato or you would release the note, getting two notes. So what Jimmy did that was so cool is he bends the B string but comes down on the G string 14th fret and then to the 12th fret, which is our, our flat at third of G in the key of E with vibrato. So again, bring it up on the B, whole step bend, coming down on the G string 14th fret to the 12th fret G with vibrato. So as you bend the B string, two things have to happen. One, you have to let the G string slide underneath your fingertips so it's there to come down on. The other thing that has to happen is after you pick the 15th fret B string, you have to silence that string. I use my middle finger on my right hand. It just works better for me. I'm sure you could probably use the pick too. So coming up on the B, silence it, come down on the G to the 12th fret G. So all together. And of course you can end it with something like this. If you want to get back to a root note of E. Okay, the second lick that we're going to do today is also using the same scale, the E minor pentatonic, but we're going to add the flat at fifth note. So I'll play the scale for you. Okay, so now the lick is going to be exactly the same thing we did before, but instead of it being a triplet, one, two, three, we're going to make it four notes by coming up on the B string, coming down on the G on the same fret. So we're going to come down on the flat at fifth note, which is kind of funky, but it sounds pretty cool. Then we're going to go to the 14th fret and then the 12th fret with vibrato. So instead of it being a triplet, it's now 16th notes. Remember, mute the B string after you're done with the, with the bend. Right to the G, to the 12th, uh, 14th fret G. Oh, no vibrato. And the 12th fret with vibrato. So the two of them, Number one, here's number two. 
Okay, now for the third one. This is one that I put together for myself. Well, if Jimmy's bending up on the B string coming down on the G, well, can't we do the same thing in the E minor position from the E string to the B string? So that part looks like this. So I came up on the 15th fret E, down on the 15th fret B, to the 12th fret B. Then to finish my riff, I'm going to go back to the 15th fret on the B, slide to the 17th fret, which is going back to the root note of E. Then to the 15th fret B, because I'm in position for that, and back to the root on the 17th fret G with vibrato. So together. All right, so now we're going to put it all together. You could do it with the flat at fifth or without. I'll do it without first to show you. We're going to put the two different licks together. I'll show you how, how that goes. A little bit faster. Now we can do the same thing but include the flat at fifth on the G string on the first lick. Which is usually how I use it. One more time slow. pretty cool licks. I sure hope you got something out of it this week. Remember there's nine more weeks to come, nine more lessons, two licks from each of these famous artists that influenced me the most, plus a third rendition of my own version of it. So go right to my website mattoreband.com, become a subscriber to Mob on TV. I also teach out of my home in New Jersey, so if you're in the surrounding area and feel like traveling, I'd be happy to take you on as a student. If not, we can do it online. So next week's going to be Eric Clapton, and at the end of each video, I'm going to put the transcription in tablature of all these licks. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned. <laughs>